Dano says, how do you keep the lid of your glue from sticking together? You're here struggling to get off the top after not using it for a week or two. So fluid dynamics are a real pain in the butt, right? And so with glue, what winds up happening, and this is the same for paint. So take this into consideration, regardless if you're talking about glue or whatever. Um, fluid of a high viscosity, right, uh, in a bottle has a problem. That problem is generally the flow rate, right? So higher viscosity stuff, the thicker, right? Think of it like water to pitch, I think is the highest viscosity, right? So, uh, you know, but oil, think super thick oil, right? Or syrup, right? Syrup's a very high viscosity. So you pour it out, takes a long time to move, right? Water moves very quick. So that's like a zero. So glue, uh, is, ours is a fairly thin viscosity, but it's still thicker than water. So as you go and use the glue, right? And then you turn the bottle back like this. It takes a minute for it to go and air, right? Because we've tilted it in order for fluid to come out, air replaces it, right? So for every, you know, that's just science, right? For every little bit of material that comes out of this bottle, something has to replace it in the cavity and that's going to be air. So as you squeeze like a Coke bottle, when you turn it to pour it out, it glugs because air is coming into the bottle, fluid's coming out. So you're replacing fluid with air. So you're doing the same thing here, even with a little spot of glue, a little bit of air is going in. And so then when you turn it up, now you've got this higher viscosity glue and or paint, paint is the same way, sitting on top of an air bubble that's now trapped in here. So in order for this glue to fill the bottle back up, it has to displace air. Air has to remove itself so that fluid can fit. There's only a certain amount of volume in here, whether it's air or fluid that can fit in this bottle. So if you're gonna have fluid go back in, it has to eject some of that air that was out. You know, you fooled it, thought you were pouring out a lot. You didn't, you tilt it back over, it goes back in. That air bubble has to retreat out of the bottle. How does it get past the glue? Well, in most cases it doesn't. It just sits there and waits over time for the glue to either go down or the bubble to pop or whatever. And in the meantime, you put the cap on, right? So now less air can escape. So it's gonna take longer. So what does that air bubble do? As that air bubble rises, it forces that little bit of glue sitting on top of it up out and it seeps up out of the tip. And so that glue flows over. You've opened your super glue occasionally and you'll have that crust. You saw me just pick some off. Happens all the time. It's not avoidable. Um, and, and you pick it off and all that. So that's the thing is to just always test. But you can help it by just doing this and setting the bottle. And with it upright, just give it a little bit of a press, right? And most of the time you get, a, once you've just used it, tilt it upside down and squeeze it a little bit with it upright. And you get a little super glue bubble that'll come up and pop, right? And then you let it go. And then when you push again, you'll get none of that. Like right now, I can squeeze this as hard as I want. Nothing but air will come out of that nozzle. So you want to squeeze it until the little bit of super glue that's up there comes and pops, and you can use a paper towel and wipe it off and then put the top on. Whoop, then you'll never have that problem again. Okay? Make sense? Because that's what's happening. Same thing with paint, right? So if you take your paint bottle, right, no matter what it is, dropper or whatever, ours, you know, and you, you have the, like on ours with a twist top, you open it, you put some paint out. If you turn it back like this and you let it sit for a second before you close it, you'll have a lot better response. You won't get all of that paint coming back up because there's an air bubble in there that is trying to displace the paint that's going back inside the bottle, right? So the longer you wait or just give it a squeeze and let that air bubble come out, you'll lose much less paint, glue, whatever over time.